Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me Cody here and welcome to part 2 of my DVD VideoSoft free studio mini series. Now in our last video we covered the internet category and this was a pretty fun topic. We went over downloading from YouTube with a few warnings and uploading to YouTube. Now if you missed that video you can go ahead and click on this icon right here, the internet icon, and it will redirect you back towards that video. Now in today's video we're going to be covering the DVD and video category. This is also going to be a very fun one. Here I will cover converting between video formats. We're going to skip quick editing, but I will be talking about a screen capture program that is included in the studio. So let's get on into this. Now you'll notice that there are a ton of icons here, so a lot of programs to go over. And let's start with the free video to DVD converter. Now this is going to allow you to take regular videos on your computer and turn them into a DVD format so you can burn them onto a DVD. And not only do the programs look alike as the internet category programs, they work in almost the same way. Instead of inputting a URL, you input a video file. You go down, you choose your output folder. It gives you a standard one, but you can browse for a new one, and you could also open that folder. Once you have your output folder selected, go down in the presets. Here you'll notice that you have DVD NTSC and DVD PAL. Now just like in the internet category, if you're from the United States, just worry about the NTSC. If you're out of the country, I'm not sure which you need to select, so go to the back of your DVDs or check the side of your video games to see what format you will need. Once you have a quality selected, it'll give you an estimation of the output size, meaning it'll tell you how much space you are taking up in the DVD, which is the blue box, and how much space you have left on your DVD, which are the lines. And once you've added all the videos you want to add on that DVD or you have taken up all the space, go ahead and click on Create DVD. Overall, it's a pretty good program within the studio, especially if you're a family person and you have a lot of videos that you want to put on DVDs to save for later. So up next, we have the freed video to flash converter. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. Now even though this program looks the same as all the other ones, this is actually where all the programs start to change a little bit as compared to the internet category programs. Now you still add your files in, and once they're in, you have them imported at the top. You can also choose to remove them choose the output name but now you have a player and what this is this is a flash video player only for this program so that you can play the converted flash video files now this player does have a few options to it you can change the color and they have quite a bit of a selection available I guess to fit your personality and you can also change the player type they have mini which is very basic you have classic a few more options you have maxi and you have multi so once you have your preferences selected, just go ahead and hit the OK button. Now just like the other programs, you have your output folder, or in this case, save to folder, same thing. I have mine in the video section. You can choose the output folder, and you can open it to see what's inside. And next up, you choose your format. So for Flash, we have FLV and SWF. Now I'm not familiar with either of these files, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose FLV. Now you also have your qualities, you have your normal quality, high quality, and high definition. Normal is 320 by 240, high quality is 480 by 360, and high definition 1280 by 720. Now the special thing about this program, and you'll see this a lot in the upcoming programs, is the preset editor. And what this is, it allows you to choose your preferences for the video conversion. You can go ahead and edit the presets that are already there. You can choose one, edit the name of it, edit the description, edit the video output, edit the audio output and you can also create your own new preset so you create a new one you can name it what you want so let's go ahead and name one real quick just for a demonstration we're gonna call this one awesome HD you can put a description now here you can edit what type of video output you want you can choose the format and they have a bunch of different formats to choose from we're gonna choose mp4 you can choose the frame rate up to 30 frames per second the bit rate your width, which is your resolution, your width and the height, which are the resolution. So let's go 1280 by 720. And after you have that selected, you can choose your audio output. You also have a bunch of different audio files to output it in. We're going to choose MP3. Your hertz rate. The channel, do you want it mono, stereo, original, and your bit rate. So once you have all selected, you hit the OK button, and you have created a new preset. Now you'll go under the formats and it will be under custom. So here we have it, awesome cool HD. And once everything's good to go, hit the convert button and you're all set. Now next up, we're going to take a look at the free video to MP3 converter. And what this will do, it will strip the audio from whatever videos you have on your computer. So say you have a music video and you want to get the audio from that, go ahead and import the video. It will show up at the top just like all the other videos. You have the option to remove, 
the output name, choose where you want to save it to, it gives you a default folder or you can change it, and choose the quality that you want. Do you want high quality, standard quality, or economy quality? Of course you're probably going to want high. And it will give you two different formats, WAV and MP3. You'll have two options of high quality WAV files to convert to and one option of high quality MP3 files to convert to. Now you do have the preset editor for this program as well. You can go ahead and edit one of the original presets or create your own. Pretty nice option to have. And when you're ready, hit the convert button. So that's it for the free video to MP3 converter. Now we have the free video to JPG converter. And this is actually a really, really good program. If you like making stop motion videos, then this is the program for you. So instead of taking countless pictures or spending countless hours editing, just take your video, import it in here, and what this is going to do, it's going to extract photos from that video. And the way it's going to do it, you have a few options. You can extract every so-and-so frames. For example, you can extract every 10 frames, take a photo out. Every 30 frames, and it's also customizable, so you can specify how many frames per picture you want. You can choose to take pictures out every so-and-so seconds. So every one second, every five seconds, and so forth. You can choose a total amount of frames that you want from your video. Say you want 100, then it will divide that video into 100 frames and extract that. Or you can take every single frame out of that video. And remember, most cameras shoot 25 frames plus per second. So for our example, we're going to use every 5 seconds. You have your output folder. You can change that if you want. And you hit extract. Now this does work very fast. So here it's going to extract our file. It'll take a few seconds. And once it's done, it'll give you a nice little indication saying, bam, I'm done. Close that up, open our output folder, and there it is. It'll organize all the photos within that video into one folder. And not only that, it'll organize all the photos in numerical order. So all you need to do is pick out your photos, put them into your video editor, and make your stop motion video. So it's very simple, very easy to use, and I think this will save you a ton of time if you guys like making stop motion videos. So let's close this out and go to our next program. Next up is the free 3GP video editor. And this converts more than just 3GP. So once again, you add your files, choose output name, save to, and here you have your different formats that you can choose from. You have AVI, MP4, 3GP, the MP3 audio we already covered. So for 3GP, you have your standard qualities, your high quality. For AVI, once again, high quality, medium quality, economy quality. And MP4 actually has all the iPod lines, the iPod Touch, iPod Classic, iPod Nano. You have your preset editor if you want to make any presets or edit any of the pre-existing ones. And convert. And that's it. Pretty plain and simple for this program. Now, the free video to iPod and PSP converter is actually included within the free 3GP converter. Because when you look at them, the iPod and PSP converter, you have your qualities, but these are all the iPods. iPod Touch, iPod Nano, iPod Classic, iPod 5G. All that was included in the free 3GP. So we don't really need to go over this one. Now you have the free iPhone converter, or video to iPhone converter. This one's not included in the 3GP. I think it should be though. And once again, very simple. Add the file, choose your save to folder, choose your quality, high standard, economy, and you have your different iPhones. For example, high quality iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and another iPhone 4, a little bit of different standards. Once again, preset editor and convert. So these files went by pretty fast. Now the free video flip and rotate and the free video dub, I'm not going to go over. I was having a few problems with these. But on top of that, they're very basic video editing programs. The free video flip and rotate program is basically flipping videos and rotating them. Nothing really too advanced with that. And the free video dub is cutting and pasting and you know just taking out chunks of videos and putting them back together. Nothing special. But we do have the free screen video recorder, and this has been an interesting thing that I wanted to cover because I get a lot of questions about free screen video recorders, and this is a perfect one right here in the studio. Now when you open it up, you'll get this little box, and here you'll see two sets of icons that look almost exactly alike, so it doesn't really tell you what they are. But the left side is for photos, taking screenshots, and the right side is for taking screen captures, screen video recordings. So let's start with the left side you have capture the full screen so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and what it's gonna do it's gonna capture my whole screen and there you have it it'll pop up in a little sort of editor 
And this right here is not actually my screen. That is the photo. It takes very high quality photos. I'm very surprised for a free screen capture it takes these type of photos. But it does. They come out very nice. Now on the top you have some options. You can save, save as, print, copy, paste. You can zoom out. You can zoom in. You can rotate it. You have two little rotation boxes. And this is a fun one. Let's zoom in a little. You can flip it. And I like flipping it because then you look at the letters, it looks like a foreign language. Pretty cool. You can flip it horizontally, flip it vertically. Let's put it back to the right way. And you have a selection tool. What you do with this selection tool, you choose an area. So say if you're not happy with the entire photo, you can choose an area and crop it. So pretty nice. It's a basic photo editor as well. Let's go ahead and undo this. See the original photo. You also have a resize tool and a close window. We're actually going to close it so we can move on. I'm not going to save it. Now we're back to the original computer. We got to open it up again. Now the second option is to capture a window if you want to capture one window in particular. And you have a capture an object. This one's actually a pretty cool one. Now once it loads up, you'll notice that there's going to be a red line around the boxes or around whatever I'm looking at. And that's actually the area that it's going to capture. So if I want to get a little small image, it'll go around that image and I can capture it. So let's go ahead and capture this little corner icon. I think it's a play button. So let's move this out the way. Open it up a little bit so we can zoom in. And there you have it. So you can capture pretty much anything with this little tool. A very useful tool, in fact. And the last icon is to capture a region. So you choose a region that you want to capture. Now to the right side. The right side is the video recording. Now in this video, I'm not actually going to show you guys a live recording. And the reason is in the options. So we'll get to that in just a second. But we have a few other options to get to first. First up, we have the general. And this is to delay before the capture. So before you guys want to record your video, if you want a few seconds to get ready, you can input how many seconds you want. Next up, you have your default file names. So every time you save something, it will save under these names. So image 1, image 2, video 1, video 2. And you can change that if you wish. You can choose your media formats. So if you're taking pictures, you can choose BMP, PNG, JPG, GIF, and TGA files. And JPG is probably most popular. And now for the reason why I'm not going to show a live video recording. It's all because of the video codec. This determines how your screen capture will show. And as you guys see, I have the TechSmith screen capture codec. This is a codec that came with the Camtasia Studio 7 program, which is a paid program. And odds are you guys don't have that. But that doesn't mean that there's not any other good codecs out there. Now the one you usually use that's standard is the Microsoft Video 1. And that's a terrible codec. You'll get terrible video. But there is the D DVX. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. DIVX. And this comes when you download the DVX video player. And a lot of people have that. And also the FFD Show video codec. A lot of people have this one as well. So odds are you will have one of the two. If not, you can download the DVX player. And with that, you should be able to get some good screen captures. So that's it for the screen video recorder, and that's it for the DVD and video section. I know it was a long section. It's the biggest category out of the free studio. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys found some useful programs in there, especially that screen video recorder. And that's all, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next video, which we're going to cover the MP3 and audio section. Now, it's the shortest category out of all the other categories, so don't worry about another 10-minute video. But here we're going to talk about quick editing audio files and converting between different audio formats. So that's all, guys. I'm out. Peace.